Shavua Tov and congratulations on a truly historic day. Last year, South African Jewry celebrated with a momentous Shabbat and a Havdalah ceremony involving 5,000 people. This year, it's gone global. It has taken the Jewish world by storm. And you know, the rabbis said that if the Jewish people were to keep just two Shabbatot, the Mashiach would come. So I want a message to go from here and now, right out there. Mashiach, we're halfway there. Friends, as we celebrate the end of this glorious day by the Havdalah ceremony, let us just remember one little feature of the Havdalah service, which to me is inspirational. The story goes as follows. God created the first humans on Friday, on the sixth day of creation. He created man, he created woman, and they already committed their sin on the very first day, and God sentenced them to exile from Gan Eden, from paradise. But he gave them a stay of execution for one day. So they spent Shabbat in Gan Eden. And whenever we celebrate Shabbat, we experience a kind of paradise regained. When it came to Motse Shabbat, Adam and Eve encountered darkness and exile for the first time, and they were frightened. And at that moment, say the sages, God showed Adam and Eve how to make fire, how to make light, and taught them how to light up a dark world. And that is why we celebrate the Havdalah with that special candle, the Havdalah candle. And friends, that is the message of Havdalah. Let this little paradise that we created on Shabbat spread its light throughout the coming week. And may the candle of Havdalah that we light, that God taught the first humans to light, show us the way forward in what is sometimes a dark and dangerous world. When outside the world is dark, there are two things you can do. You can curse the darkness or you can light a candle. Let us light a candle that will bring the light of peace and joy and blessing to the Jewish people and to the world. Shavua Tov.